Now, from the statistics, we noted a number of issues. One is that we noted that we had poor performance of our children in primary education. You will note that for the very many years, Gwen District has been ranked as the last district. And in a bit to find out why, one of the issues that we came about was gender-based uh, violence. We collected data from several stakeholders. We collected data from police. We collected data from the community department. And all uh, stakeholders who uh, uh, get reported to. From the statistics, we noted that the rate of gender-based violence was high. And probably we realized that that would be one of the issues. We noted that of the gender-based violence cases, about 96% uh, of those cases were women. Uh, men accounting for only 4%. Now, we know that uh, when homes are not stable, the contribution is not even. Just imagine that it's only a man that contributes. That means that 50% of the contribution is lost. And therefore, we thought that interventions would be put along that line. Uh, from that, uh, we decided to focus on all the areas. As you focus on education, you also focus on areas that bring you the poor performance. So we identified one of them as the GBV. It was not easy uh, convincing a council to make investments to this area. But because of the statistics, it became apparent that it was important to focus on this area. Uh, we know that uh, in the National Development Plan, there is a focus on gender-based violence. And that is an opportunity that we had. We know that uh, government also has a number of programs that target uh, the women. But because the gender-based violence was high, it was important that we make a special emphasis on gender-based violence. Uh, that is when we saw that uh, one of uh, our partners uh, in, uh, in the names of Action Aid Uganda uh, came on board, uh, put up a centre, uh, put up uh, an intervention. And one of the interesting things in the statistics is that we noted that over 500 cases were being handled annually. Now, this is not a small number. Uh, we thought with that, and with the previous statistics, it became apparent that this, in, this problem needed to have a home. Hence, uh, the gender-based violence shelter that you see behind me. Now, because the district has many needs, uh, putting up a case for the shelter was not easy. But because of the need, the district decided to invest 20 million shillings to build a shelter every year. Now, from the initial uh, costing, it would take us over 10 years to construct a shelter. So along the way, after two years of commitment, partners came on board and we have uh, the shelter. What are the issues that we, we think about? Some of the issues, uh, as you are aware, uh, this is a, a district where FGM is practiced. Uh, those are serious issues. Those are serious violations on women. And you remember that in 2018, there was even a surge. And uh, we believe that the shelter will go in a long way in trying to address some of these issues. Because if you have a home, then that means the problems can be uh, solved.